What's going on? Move the Mouse here back in City Skylines, the town of Portsmouth with our Let's Play Season 7 episode number 41. And I've got the overlay up right now because I wanted to remember to talk about uh, the Able Gamers stream for just a minute. So let me go ahead and throw it on cinematic camera mode, which uh, hopefully you'll notice better frame rates on. Uh -huh. Okay, <laughs> let's ignore that. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, real quick, Able Gamers, the charity stream uh, we did Friday night, Friday the 13th. Apple Buddy played some horror games, and uh, I, I think it was very entertaining. She got very scared. She was able to get some sleep at some point. Um, and we were able to raise uh, over $700 at the time. One of the donations is a $300 donation that's getting matched by that person's employer. So thank you to Hot Corners there. So it was a $300 donation that's going to turn into $600. Uh, so that puts us well over the goal of raising uh, 1000 But officially, on paper right now, we are at $869.99. Uh, so if you are able to contribute between now and January 1st, the link is in the bottom left of the video. I'll, I'll take that off in a moment, uh, but I wanted to uh, just publicize that just a little bit. If, uh, if you can, give what you can. It's a fantastic cause, and uh, we were able to raise, again, another $1,000. That's over $2,000 this year. Um, for Able Gamers on the channel. Thank you so much for all the support. Really means a lot to Apple Buddy and I. Um, so if you contributed, thank you, thank you, thank you. So with that out of the way, I did want to talk uh, about some of the technical difficulties that I ran into, which was specifically a video card that uh, had a dying van on it. Um, I was able to swap that out. I still got the 1660 Ti, which will be slapping an Apple Buddy's computer. But I grabbed a 2070 Super from EVGA um, on a pretty good deal. And... Uh, yeah, it ended up ended up working out all right because we're getting uh, much better frames in cities as a result. So previously, I was getting anywhere between 15 to 20 tops. Usually, it's 15 to 18, somewhere in there. Uh, right now, we're about 21 frames, but if we let it settle in for a little bit, um, and you know, when I'm just cruising around the city on cinematic camera mode, I'm getting 35, 40 frames per second. So tremendous performance boost from. Uh, of course, we're seeing stuff that hardly has anything moving around. Um, I don't have ultimate level of detail turned up. So you'll see tree textures and stuff like that pop in. That still takes a pretty heavy hit. And we'll need to back down um, to do, you know, fancy cinematics and slow flybys and stuff like that. But for the most part, the performance has improved 100%. And, and I'm in the 30s. So things look pretty smooth, uh, which I certainly can't complain about. You'll also notice... Um, some areas populated with trees, some areas not. Parts of the map have been completely uh, eviscerated. I did install the tree limit count, prop limit count, I forget. Um, I'll add it to the collection, but it lets you just hit L to bring up a list of roads, intersections, buildings, and, and we're nowhere near um, kind of our prop limit on anything except for trees. And um, try as I might, uh, I'm gonna have to kind of repaint the whole map from scratch. Uh, make some areas thicker than others, and uh, and I keep coming back and kind of filling in some areas and thinning out other areas. I will figure it out eventually. <laughs> but until then, just know that, that there may not be trees some places where there absolutely should be. So hopefully we'll get that all sorted out, but I think it's going to require me removing all the trees, painting a real thin brush out in the outskirts, and then filling in the areas that we want to fill in. Because when we're, when we're over here, like, take a look, when we're over here in the downtown doing flybys like that doesn't need to be super dense out there in fact it, it isn't it's pretty pretty sparse for the most part but with depth of field turned on it just kind of blends all into one forest so I think we'll really greatly thin out kind of what's on the outside of the map and then um, kind of thicken it up in in some of the areas where we want to have better coverage where we want to have uh, a sound dampening layer between the highways and where people live so uh, I also kind of messed up my golf course because I unpainted all the trees there. It didn't have nearly as many of the, the the autumn fall trees, and it does look very different now. So I'll, I'll again, trees are going to get a complete wipe and and rebrush before the end of the series. Uh, over here in the industrial area, I did a tiny little bit of tinkering, and it's still backing up a bit. Uh, traffic wise, I was at one hundred percent. Somehow, um, if we disregard this area and this one intersection, 
it's pretty good, but I, I think it's miscalculating something, so. I don't think that's correct. There's a lot of green everywhere. Uh, there are a couple bad spots kind of along that highway. I don't think that's 100%. I think something's getting miscalculated, but things are flowing pretty well. The exception being over here, kind of where all of the industrial traffic is kind of meeting up. And I think I need to clean this up to get people out of the lane that they're entering from. Let's do that real quick. We'll break out traffic manager. I have done four lanes here, but I want to make sure that nobody is using this uppermost lane except people that are uh, entering the highway. So everybody should be shifting over. And if you're in the right lane, you can go straight. Or nowhere. Hold on. It's going to cause some, some wonky behavior, as you may already see over here. People are shifting, shifting hard to get over this way. But let's just do that at every one of these intersections. So we'll just force, I think, sh shift S. There's like some, there's some hotkey to just force everything to go straight. I don't remember what it is. If you know what it is, let me know in the comments down below. There is a hotkey to do basically that. And then what we can do is just shift this one over, technically. So we could do that also, right? Does the same thing. We're trying to clear this upper lane so that it is only entering traffic. All right, so fast forwarded over that a little bit. Sometimes I make more of a mess than I help fix. I am uh, I'm not the best at this, but also this is not a great judge uh, right away because it, it takes time to kind of settle into that new traffic flow. Kind of what I've done here is move the traffic problem from the uh, entrance lane over to the far rightmost lane because everybody's getting super confused over here. I tried to kind of fix that by letting the right lane either go straight or right. But I may want to kind of revamp that because everything coming in moving pretty good, but that's getting traffic off the highway. It's a completely different problem. I've got to fill this back in. That looks very empty, but I think we're getting to that point of saturation. Like every everything's fairly well balanced. Uh, let's see where employment's at, though, before I get before I get too happy patting myself on the back. 20 percent. Not great. So uh, we've got lots of commercial and industrial demand. And if we found a couple more pockets to cram in, that that might uh, help those sort of balance out. We'll try and do it without any new residents, though. These two parking lots are kind of massive for what they are. I wonder if I should just have another commercial street office park over here. This needs to get fixed badly. Let's do that real quick. So what if we select uh, only nodes? So let's uh, adjust the height to whatever that is. Nope. Let's include that and adjust the height to maybe that node. So you get a bit of a valley there, a little bit more of a valley over this way. But that's more natural with what you'd see. You know, you would see kind of highways cut out of a valley rather than have a, a really sharp incline. So, all right. So what I think we could do and what I think would make sense is to kind of utilize this space over here by the river and do some more commercial all down this way. Let's uh, let's break out our brush. We'll just paint it and we'll make some neighborhoods. Maybe a little office park, a little something over this way. Now this will increase this road's utilization quite a bit, so we might have a bit of a traffic problem over here when we're all done with this. 
But I think if we come in far enough here, say down this way. This is a four lane. Why don't we make this a four lane? You can kind of curve this down to the end right here. Or at least to where a road would meet it. Do something like that and then kind of follow the coast over here. Over here, I'm going to do a little office park. So maybe let's do one more block of this. So we'll curve these all just a little bit. And I think what we can do is let's paint everywhere but that center in office. So we'll pause for a minute. Get all this filled in. We won't zone on the actual street over here. Because that we can probably keep commercial. And the block in the center, we'll leave that open and maybe we'll make a little park out of that. An office park park. If I quit, uh, if I quit painting it accidentally. We'll do something like that. I think we have to get, uh, we must have to get water over here. So we'll do something like that. We'll throw some commercial along the main strip here. Because we need both. And let's go clean up a couple of those little pieces that we don't need. Specifically those. those tiny little businesses. We'll have a, a little bit of a buffer. Maybe we could even not... Let's not zone here. Do something a little different. We'll come in with the tree brush. We'll get some trees in here right on the end of the street. So that as businesses move in, there's a, a little bit of a, a little bit of a zone. And then for now, we'll just paint this in with trees. Just to give a little bit of life, a little bit of color over here. So yeah, we'll definitely need to get water over this way. And what did we build up before? I wonder if, uh, did I leave anything out that wasn't watered? Well, I guess we're good. I think we're good. If anybody sees anybody complaining, let me know in the comments below. Though I, at that point, I usually have seen it in the, uh, the edit. So that will cover there. I think it doesn't, what's wrong with this? Okay, it's not connected to anything. That makes sense then. Um, plenty, there's plenty wrong with that. I think we could build over here. I mean, it makes, kind of makes sense to that. That must be where that blue that blue cutscene happened at the beginning. I think if you go in, yeah. That makes sense. Um, can cars actually traverse this? I don't know how this happened, but kind of want to kind of want to watch in awe at this. Like, who's getting up this? 
That is like, that's almost, look at the dump truck go. Get it. They go so fast on the way down, huh? One of those lanes is way faster than the other. All right, so let's, what, what do you say? Let's fix this. I must have height adjusted. With the, the wrong nodes clicked. So we will uh, align height to here. There we go. Whoa, hey, get back. Get back on the road. There you go. Making up for lost time, apparently. So, all right. Now, our new zone, I was going to say, may not fill in right away. We may have to put some zoning next to it to encourage people to move in. But it looks like we're doing good there. So we'll get a little bit of our office demand met, a little bit of commercial coming in down here. We've got this road that kind of breaks off, goes into the downtown from the south, goes into our country club, Bushwood, and goes into the national park. And both of these are going to see a lot more um, evergreen trees and, and maybe some imported trees over here. But we're going to remove kind of the fall look. It'll still be there in touches like it was before. Uh, but this is just way overkill, and it doesn't make it look like the Country Club stands out as much. The Country Club stood out a little bit because it was a little bit more manicured and groomed and had less less of the color in it. Um, so we'll come back and revisit that. Trees, again, trees will come and go. I uh, eventually will fix all that. We'll, uh, we'll keep chugging along until I'm really satisfied... With kind of how the trees fill out. I want I want there to be an edge of the map. And I want it to sort of blend off into the distance. So we're not going to add a lot of structure. It's going to be more about detail work at this point. So I think what we could do. In the next couple episodes. Is kind of work our way through. A final pass at each one of these topics. So we'll go through and talk about. Where we're at for electricity. We're in great shape. But maybe we bring in a monument. Maybe we don't. It's more expensive than we need. But maybe we buy it to drop it to turn it off at this point water's kind of on the edge so we will definitely talk about that next episode and we'll just kind of work our way through comfortably talking about kind of the status of the city working our way through the different info views and uh and and try and make it as functioning as possible uh we'll do a pass for things like trees and go in and fix kind of neighborhood by neighborhood i still have to do a uh, a patron video so i did a channel member thank you video i think uh within the last two weeks had some technical difficulties, so I kind of lost track of time. Um, at least in terms of the uh, the the channel and the the upload schedule. Not that I lost track of time in general. Um, I'm I'm not an Android. I don't need a video card to function. Uh, it feels like it sometimes. Though. It was very quiet in here, but thank God for console backups. Um, so either way, uh, I think pretty sure I got sidetracked. So that means that we are off to a terrific start and back in the swing of things because I'm getting distracted look at all those people going to the dollar tree um gotta do that christmas shopping actually they're all heading the other way so probably a good idea hopefully you enjoyed today's video we'll get back into the swing we'll work our way through the info views we will put some finalizing touches on the city including a patrons video coming soon if you'd like to support the channel links are down below in the description you can either become a member through youtube or through patreon all of the support is appreciated but even if you don't choose to support the channel in that manner, every like, comment, and share helps the channel a lot and is greatly appreciated. If you're new here, subscribe for more and consider hitting the bell to get notifications for updates in this and other series. Stay tuned Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays for new videos. We'll put the finishing touches on Portsmouth, at least where we'll leave it for now in uh, the next few weeks. And then maybe we'll kick off the new year with some new content, a new uh, console-based city maybe. You never know. We might come back to PC also. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Maybe we'll do an official poll to see where we go next. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord if you want to get involved in the discussion. But until the next one, this is Move the Mouse, signing off.